cis-1,3 disubstitution patterns tell us that the methyl groups are attached to carbons 1 and 3 of the cyclohexane, while cis informs us that the methyl groups are on the same side of the ring. So, if you draw a horizontal dotted line through the ring carbon, both of the methyl groups are above, up from the line, or below, down from the line. This chair confirmation has both methyl groups in axial positions. So when we look for steric strain, we find no gauche interactions, but there are two 1,3 diaxial interactions between methyl and hydrogen groups, as well as one 1,3 diaxial interaction between a methyl group and a methyl group. This is particularly high in energy. Let's take the chair and ring flip it. This alternate chair conformation has the methyl groups both in equatorial positions. But if we look for steric strain, there are no gauche interactions and no 1,3 diaxial interactions. This alternate chair has a lower energy and is also more abundant than the first chair. Moving from cis 1,3 disubstitution to trans 1,3 disubstitution. Trans tells us that the two methyl groups are on opposite sides of the ring. So if we draw a horizontal dotted line through the ring carbon, one of the methyl groups will be above up from the line and the other will be below down from the line. In this chair conformation, one of the methyl groups is equatorial and the other is axial. When we look for steric strain, again, we find no gauche interactions, but there are two 1,3 diaxial interactions between a methyl group and a hydrogen. Let's ring flip this chair. The alternate chair conformation has a methyl group in an axial position and a methyl group in an equatorial position. The methyl group that was axial in the original chair in the alternate chair is equatorial, and the methyl group that was equatorial in the original chair is now in the alternate chair axial. Let's look for steric strain here as well. Again, there's no gauche interactions, but we do have two 1,3 diaxial interactions between a methyl group and a hydrogen group. Now that's the same as the first chair. So the two chairs have the same amount of energy. And they also are in the same abundance as a result.